Hello, Watch Fam. I'm the Chirpy Panda, and、uh, today we're having a look at a special collaboration between Timex and Huckberry based on the Timex Q. This is the Timex Cross Huckberry Cola Sports Limited Edition watch. Just a bit about the channel. This channel we talk about、uh, affordable wristwatches, review them, unbox them, and find out how we can get them onto your wrist. But otherwise, we're gonna jump into the quick unboxing and first impressions of this Timex and Huckberry collaboration. Coming right up after this intro. Timex, I believe, needs no introduction in this manner. However, the Timex Q, Q where they stands for quartz, was a watch that was first released in 1979 and、uh, based on a quartz movement. So it's got a bit of that kind of 70s, 80s aesthetics going on there. However, this version was a reissue that I believe is seen as a almost one-to-one -one reproduction of the original 1979 Timex Q model, all the way down to the battery hatch at the back, which is a、uh, Down. However, what we're talking about today is the Huckberry. Huckberry is a American brand that specializes in out. Door products, as well as、um, largely men-based or gentlemen-based kind of fashion wear, footwear, clothing, and as well as watches, as we see here. So, this is an interesting collaboration between those two. Huckberry started in the late 2010, based in San Francisco,、uh, largely based around the, the thought pattern of the men and the ventures or outdoor adventure. So, we should see a little bit of that come out on the watch. Hopefully, we do. And the collaboration is. Based on the Timex Q watch, which is the Cola style, and it is a limited edition exclusive to Huckberry, so you, you must buy it from Huckberry. And I bought this watch for 189. So without further ado, let's jump into unboxing and、uh, check the watch out. Welcome back, guys. So in front of me is the Huckberry and Timex. Collaboration. So it is essentially the Timex Q, but in cola format. This nice little sticker came with it. So with Huckberry, Huckberry is a, I believe it's a UK website. Oh, it's American. We just double check if it's UK. I believe it's American website that sells a lot of manliness, like manly products. <laughs> I think it's the best way I can put it. It's really like outdoorsy type of product. So this is the box in front of us. Let me see what's on this. Printing. So it's a Huckberry and Timex Cola Sports watch. Not sure what L or、oh, limited edition. Sorry, it is a limited edition with just the those two collaboration. And opening this up, oh, really, really beautiful. It's kind of got this really old school. It's got a British feel to it. I feel kind of old school British、uh, gentleman's feel to it. This box. Oh, see you out there. I think is their motto or the tag, the slogan from Huckberry. Let's crack this bad boy open. I should say. Just opening. Oh come on, boy! Here we go. Let me put it here. It looks nice. This little box looks nice over there in the background.、Um, is this it? Is this? Oh my god! It's just wrapped like wow! It's just wrapped like that. This whole thing is the box. I'm not sure if I like that or not. But anyways,、um, we don't care about box. We care about this. This little beauty here. Wow. So I, I really like the look of the Timex Q. So this is basically a Timex Q, but with the collaboration with Huckberry, they created this unique cola dial. But I'm gonna set this aside real quick. Let me let me just leave it here for a second. So I didn't. What else is in the box? Oh, this is it. So this is just the. By the looks of it, use the menu. Oh, this. I really like the color, but we're not here for the box, are we?、Uh, let's put this aside and、uh, take this watch out. And here we have it, exquisite dial. I really, I, I was so drawn to this cola look.、Um, I personally like the Pepsi kind of color, the blue and red, more than the cola. But this one really drew me to it. And the dial is actually very, very small. But what I'm gonna do before I jump into it and start ripping stuff. Actually, let me let me rip the dial thing off. That's so satisfying. Okay, now let me just jump into the specs for you guys to check out. So as mentioned, this is the Huckberry collaboration with Timex. Based on the Timex Q model, this has been created as the Cola Sports Watch、uh, Limited Edition and exclusive to Huckberry. This is running a、uh, Seiko PC33 quartz movement.、Um, interesting that they use that movement, but、um, it is a quartz watch. Uh, reminiscence of the 70s. Stainless steel strap. 
it's just in the glow loom on the minute and hour hands obviously uh, the day date functionality it has 50 meter water resistance the case diameter without the crown is 38 millimeters uh, the thickness is 11.5 millimeters uh, the chances are it's it's a hooded lug so the lug is hidden there but um, what I'm gonna go I'm gonna go get my color because the website is very thin on information I'll be right back and we're back now this time I have zeroed out the caliper in previous videos I forgot to zero it and I was always about two millimeters off so let's check out the lug width the lug width is uh, 18 mil lug to lug I get this probably is uh, I'd say 44 44 mil lug to lug not too bad I'll just double check that it is a 38 yeah 38 perfectly and including including the crown it would be oh, hang on get the crown open. uh 41 41 including the crown so this this watch was um relatively small if you can see it in terms of the bezel it is a uni yep it's unidirectional so bi-directional my bad um and it doesn't have the the click so it's kind of like a friction based um, but it's quite um, it's got a satisfying feel to it when I when I turn it it's almost like like jelly does that does that make sense how we, you're kind of like pushing a very viscous um, substance like like gel when you're pushing that it feels like you're pushing that if that makes sense um, so it doesn't really feel like your traditional dive based bezels this isn't really the dive watch obviously what did I mention I think it was like 50 meter water resistance you're not really taking this into the pool anytime soon now in terms of functionality oh th there is a battery server here uh, is, the, is the watch running sorry the watch wasn't running that's why I was trying to push the dial but it was okay let's take that that's that's the battery saver that it comes with because it is a quartz watch and uh, if, as you can see the the ticking of the seconds hand indicates it's quartz movement so on the on the uh, wow the, the the hour setting is really smooth first position yep, date change and uh, oh wait so it's quick set date but I don't think it's quick set uh, date oh okay first position second position so there's only two positions first position is the date and for some you can what did I push it again so that's the date yeah I can't I can't quick set the day only the date I can quick set date but not day and let's look at the back that little plastic um, it's kind of got more plastic on it it says movement uh, Japan I, f I find it funny how it says movement Japan right and then underneath it I don't know if you it, it, it says bracelet is from China so it's it's made in multiple places very unnecessary okay let's take that off so you see this little uh, kind of like a what would you even call this but this is where the battery is so in the 70s um, I guess obviously the time is Q the Q stands for quads uh, back then you can change your own batteries without going to watch watch um, I guess a watch maker or a, a, you know battery changing watch shop you can just get a little dime or a cent or a, maybe even dollar coin or two dollar coin maybe one dollar coin you can turn that and then the battery will pop out and then you can change your own battery it's absolutely brilliant you can also see that you can quite easily access the spring bars here to change the bracelet but uh, honestly speaking I'm not going to change the bracelet the charm of this watch is in the bracelet I forgot to mention I believe this is actually acrylic the crystal let me just quickly double check that I'll fact check myself yeah so the crystal itself is acrylic so very old school again and I actually adore that how it's acrylic uh, can you guys see it if I can just get enough zoom onto it that really gives you that vintage vibe um, I mean it's not super vintage only in the 70s but it's vintage enough for me 
this really does look like it came straight out of the 70s um, lovely so let me let me just quickly pop it on the Ritz and uh, we'll see how it looks okay I just realized I need to size this to fit me and um, I gotta pop this open to get further in but I don't have the tools on me to do it so I'm just gonna pop on my wrist to, to show you how it looks this is how it looks on my wrist I've got six and a quarter inch wrist so relatively small funny enough it doesn't wear big but because of how the case is designed it kind of feels chunky if that makes sense but the bracelet is amazing oh that feels so good on the skin I don't know how to describe it it's almost like snake scales the scales on a snake I'm gonna find the tools I'm gonna be right back and resize it okay I'm back guys so I had to use one of my uh, kind of watchmaker screwdrivers to pop it open and here we have it resize completely on a six and a quarter inch wrist do a really quick roll I feel like it's slightly tight you can probably see it clipping in a little bit um, I'll loosen it slightly now the good news about these type of straps is that you can kind of loosen it you know to a unlimited degree if that makes sense I'll show you quickly afterwards but this is how it looks on the six and a quarter inch wrist I believe this will be a very unisex watch so if uh, for the female watches out there um, this will, will definitely fit I mean I've got slender wrist I reckon you can even pull it off with six inch this is actually cutting a bit tight so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna resize it slightly again um, before I do that let me get something that's soft uh, yeah. so it's slightly soft crack this open so for those who no don't know how to do it very softly just lift this up and then I'm going to loosen the light slightly by loosening it I'll have to go further up this way about here I reckon I think this one's about right let's, let's try it again oh yeah yeah I think it's better it's still a little tight actually but yeah that is my unboxing and first impressions of the Huckberry crossover with Timex uh, in the Cola sports limited edition watch this is basically the Timex Q there's no doubt about it it looks different though it doesn't have the circles as the the hours is like little lines which is very special um, so I, I really indeed I really like this kind of crossover uh, compared to the other ones let's set the camera and have uh, my last final thoughts so that was my unboxing and first impressions of the Timex Cross Huckberry Sports Limited Edition watch in Cola. Overall, I'm extremely uh, ecstatic, I should say, about this watch. I've read online and reviews and they have mentioned that they felt that this watch didn't feel premium or uh, you're not getting a premium product for the price. But for 189 that I got this for US and 179 if you were to get just the normal Timex Q, this is this feels very good quality. It is a quartz, but the point is Timex Q is Timex quartz watch. Um, so there is no qualms for me about that. Everything about the watch so far feels like its quality is, is, would you say premium? No, I'm not buying a luxury watch. I never expected a luxury watch. So for the price range, I'm, I feel like I'm getting more than, definitely more than fashion watches. For example, if you were to buy a Daniel Wellington, well over $200. Uh, this is way, way, way better. Uh, this is, look at that. Look at that dial. It's, it's absolutely stunning what i can see and i guess my first impressions is that this will be getting a lot of wear and for the price i don't think i'll i'll be worried about the dings that the, the acrylic crystal will probably get and most likely will get over time uh, and it, it might actually add some character if it's got a few scuffs here and there worst case scenario i can always uh, use what do you call it poly watch i think it was what it what it was to kind of buff out the the scratches on the acrylic crystal yeah so beyond that based on the time execute i i will get my hands on the time execute oh i just realized there's a little plastic here Ooh. yeah so if i if i get a chance i, I think i'm going to get a time xq as a comparison i know it's basically the same model they're releasing so many different versions of the time xq now i think they recently just if i was to jump on the website right now i think they recently just released a um time xq elastic i think it's expanding band expansion band on the website so the expansion band on the website in uh, kind of like a rose gold color it's still stainless steel uh, for 189 so 10 dollars more than your normal um timex q 
but that looks pretty good. I feel like I can get I can get this for the missus. I think she'll she'll enjoy wearing something like this, um, especially that type of color. The size is perfect. It's like 38 mil. Um, it it, work, it works for me in terms of size wise. So it's actually perfect. Anyways, that's my first impression for the Timex Huckberry cross timex cola limited edition watch if you like this watch i will leave a link down below so you can check it out if you like the video please hit that like button show me a bit of love leave a comment tell me what um what type of watch i should go for next did you get the timex cube what's your uh, experience with it is it overhyped i don't think i don't think so i think like this watch is definitely bang on the money i mean it's only been launched a year and a half in may 2019 i think it was launched and so far i think this is making a killing for timex and uh and probably in, they'll dig through the archives to bring up more reissues eventually which is a godsend to me i love vintage watches also if you haven't already subscribed consider subscribing i post weekly and i do a lot of watch reviews unboxing first impressions i'll be doing some custom mods i'm trying to build my own custom watch otherwise you guys have been amazing i'm the chirpy panda and i'll catch you in the next one peace